Before we add the box shadow to for our box here, we should add uh, all the fill for the blur, spirit, and color as well. So we will come to the code, and you have one row here, and we will just duplicate this one. Now this one should be for the blur here, of course. I will just select it and say it should be for the blur. The value, of course, we can just capitalize it and we don't need to display them here now we know that everything is working for the same thing here we will select the vertical and this one should be for the spirit and i will remove it here also these all are going to be a number value so this is fine and the last one is for the color so the color i will just write a form group here and inside this one what i'm going to use is the same way we use for gradient, we can use one of their color input here. I'll just copy it and use it right over there. Then we don't have the color 2 of course. And I will just remove the number 2. We have the property of color only in our component that T is here. It will take that value. And the next thing is that the position should be at the top of the page. This one should be also the color. Oops, uh, am I in the right page? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, fine. Then this one should be also the color zero. This is fine and I'll save it. Let's see what we have so far. Okay, it is fine. Now we have the value of spread and everything is just fine as well as the color picker that we can change the color so now we should add the box shadow for our box here that is what we do in the next video